What's up guys, The Bias here and welcome back to, as you can tell by the title, we have another squad builder today. You guys really, really did like the squad builder I did do last week, which was a pace and long long shot squad. Um, and I did find this squad on FUT Head and it was pretty much exactly the same as the squad I did last week. But for some reason I'm having a lot more fun with it, um, I don't know why, it's pretty much exactly the same. We're playing the 4-3-3 formation, uh, the three players up front then, as you can see, the left wing, the striker and the right winger all have disgusting pace. And the three midfielders are all in form and all have disgusting long shots. So um, this squad did cost 170,000 coins, a massive thanks to FIFA Coins Online for giving me the coins to be able to make this squad and bring you this video. Um, but 170,000 coins isn't expensive whatsoever for this squad, considering you've got an 85 rated left winger as well as all your centre centre mid sorry, are all in form with horrible, horrible long shots. It is disgusting how dirty their long shots are. But nonetheless, I'm going to run through them. As you can see then, in goal we do have the French goalkeeper, Mandanda. He does, does cost 4,000 coins and there isn't too much to say about him. He's not the best keeper in the world but he is by far not the worst. He has got 86 reflexes which in FIFA 13 reflexes for a goalkeeper um, is probably the main thing you want to be looking at these days because reflexes are what keeps the ball out the back of the net. In the left back position then we've got Amero. He does cost 1,000 coins and obviously he has been like in every single squad builder of mine. I don't know how he keeps finding his way back into my squads but he's doing it and he does have 88 pace so he's an absolute god at the left back. Obviously if you get countered online you know your left back is going to get back and keep up with that counter attack because he has that pace next to him then we've got our second Frenchman of this squad we do have Kabul he does cost again just under 4,000 coins and there isn't too much to say about him he's not the best but he's not by far the worst for the price you're paying for him he is a really really good center back why he's not rated 80 I don't have a clue but that does bring me on to my second center back who we do have Sako he does cost 2,000 coins and I do think he is better than um, Kabul even though he is half the price uh, but he is obviously from PSG French again and he does he is 80 overall um, and as I said he does cost a cheap 2,000 coins and then finally we've got Danilo, Danilo then in the right back position from FC Porto obviously he is 77 rated overall um, which is why he costs um, only 1,000 coins but again he's fairly quick that is quick for a centre uh, for a right back I beg your pardon 86 pace is extremely quick for any defender on FIFA 13 and as for why he goes for a thousand coins your guess is as good as mine I personally think he's a really good right back and a thousand coins is really really cheap so that's enough talk about the defence then, let's move on to the midfield. As you can see, we do have the three informed players. I will start on the left-hand side. We do have the 82 rated Guarin then. He is only 82 rated overall, but nonetheless, he does cost, he did cost me 46,000 coins, I believe. Yeah, there we are, 46,250 coins. He is really, really good. Um, I have been playing a lot of you guys. Uh, I've been playing a lot of subscribers, so obviously the stats won't be there on his card, the goals he has scored. Um, but his stats are unbelievable. His, he's got 90 strength and 89 aggression so whenever he gets on the ball in the midfield it is going to be really really hard to get him off the ball with that strength and that aggression uh, but that he's got 89 free kicks which is absolutely godly 85 long passing 93 long shots and 99 shot power he's an 82 rated player overall and he's got 99 shot power and especially with that 93 long shots he is incredibly cheap for that 99 rated shot power secondly then in the midfield we do have the 84 rated Rodriguez. He does cost 30,000 coins, so he is a lot cheaper than Guarin. But none, nonetheless, his stats are absolutely ridiculous as well. 91 reactions, 85 vision, 88 ball control, and bearing in mind he's only an 84 rated player, which isn't the highest on Ultimate Team. 88 ball control is really, really good. 90 curve, which is madness. 85 finishing, which again is ridiculously high. 86 free kicks, 87 long shots. So 87 long shots is ridiculous again. 87 penalties and 85 shot power. So again, either any of these three uh, centre midfielders, if you get them on the ball in the middle of the pitch, um, if you get them a little bit of space, give them to take a heavy touch and absolutely just pelt it and 99% of the chance it is going to go on target and hopefully just keep your fingers crossed it is going to fly into the top right hand corner giving you an awesome goal. Um, but then finally in the midfield then we do have Moutinho then. He does cost me 30,000 so he is he is the cheapest um, out of all of the midfielders even though he is the highest rated. He does have 90 balance and 96 reactions which is ridiculously high. Again, 
again, the amount of times I've said ridiculous in this midfield is ridiculous. Um, 87 vision, 85 interception, 87 ball control, 85 long shots, uh, 90 short passing, and 81 shot power. He is really, really good. I, even though um, normally what I do like to do with my squads is to have the highest rated player um, in the center of the squad just because it keeps the squad all together. Uh, but for this, um, I didn't want to put Moutinho in the center of the center mids, uh, mainly because he only has that sh uh, 81 shot power. Even though he is the highest rated overall um, with 85 uh, rated overall, that 90, 81 shot power, sorry, is a bit of a letdown. Um, obviously, then in midfield, the center of the midfield, then we do have Guarez uh, Rodriguez, beg your pardon, who does have 85 shot power, which is a lot more than Moutinho. Um, however, I could have obviously had Guarin, but obviously you've got the left foot and the right foot for a difference of all these players, um, which is why I do have these three midfielders set up as I do. Moving on to the three forward players then, obviously you can all see, and I know I'm going to get a lot of hate for this, they are all Manchester United players. But that is simply because they are all really, really quick. I did want to have inform Walcott in the striker position because obviously the informed version is a striker but he was costing like 400 to 500 thousand coins and even though I could have afforded him I didn't want to buy him make a video on it and then sell him and make a massive loss of 100 200 thousand coins um, so I did just stick to Hernandez um, Hernandez is a really good player he's got ridiculous pace obviously 90 pace uh, but for some reason he is my favorite striker in the premiership by an absolute country mile he does have 91 acceleration 89 sprint speed as well as that 85 jumping obviously his heading is going to be good as he is in real life uh, 88 positioning and he's got 87 finishing even though he's only 82 rated overall and it's cost well under 5,000 coins he does have that 87 finishing and with that pace you can just get your way through the opposition center backs and with that 87 finishing you're not going to find it too hard to find the back of the net considering he also has the finesse shot traits so finding the back of the net with Hernandez isn't too hard um, I don't know how many goals I've scored with him look five goals in six games which is pretty good record for any player um, but moving on to the right hand side then, we do have Valencia in the right wing position. He did cost me 8,000 coins. Again, he is really, really quick, the same as all of my forward uh, players here. 90 acceleration, 90 sprint speed, 85 vision. He also does have that 87 crossing, which I really, really do like. So when he can get past the left back of your opposition, just whipping across to either Hernandez or Nani or even any of the centre mid players which are pushing their way up into the box, as well as 84 shot power. So even he's got a fairly decent long shot on him. Obviously, he is right footed. Uh, so cutting in isn't going to be much help because if you give it to him on the left foot he's not going to make a he's probably going to make a meal of it so you want to take it on the right foot but nonetheless he is a really really good player he also does have that speed dribbler trait so uh, he is an absolute god on the right hand side of that pitch especially in front of Moutinho Finally then, in this squad then, we do have the, probably the best player, the one that stands out for me. There, when you ever you make a squad, you always have that one player which stands out for you, and that is Nani. 85 rated Nani, the Portuguese left winger. He's an absolute god. 40,000 coins it did cost me, but that is ridiculously cheap for the way he plays online. His long shots are absolute ridiculous. Oh, how many times have I said ridiculous in this video? 89 acceleration as well as that 85 sprint speed. So the same as Valencia and Hernandez, they all do have that pace. 88 ball control and 89 dribbling and also with that five star skill he's an absolute beast and 84 long shot and 85 shot power and he does also have that long shot taker trait meaning he's an absolute beast if you give him that little bit of pace a uh, little bit of space sorry especially with that pace that um the dribbling, the five star skills, the shot power, he's an absolute god. So that is the squad, it did cost me 170,000 coins, it is really really good. I'm going to stop the live commentary here and we are going to go and have a look at some of the goals and plays that this squad has scored online. So these are just a few of the goals that this squad has scored online. This first one then is a Guarin goal, some lovely passing between the squad here. Uh, he gets a break through the two centre backs and just absolutely smashes at home. 99 shot power, so if he gets one on the goalkeeper, he's going to find it extremely hard if he doesn't score. Moutinho then, this is a miss. How did he miss that? That was a lovely volley if he had just buried that into the back of the net. Um, but Nani is in this clip, I believe. Look at that long shot, how that didn't go in. Uh, a lot of the time with this squad, because the long shots are so powerful, you'll realise it will draw up to a few of the players and you can pick up goals that way which is always good um, but here then we do have a lovely Nani goal um, you saw that lovely tackle here that literally just lofted it over the def opposition's defense just got the, one of the players with that lot of pace there just to meet the ball and he was just going to be obviously with that pace and he's just going to slot it home uh, Grind then how that didn't go in I really really wanted most of these clips to go in but it was unfortunate they didn't I really did that want that volley to go in uh, but obviously with that pace you're absolutely going to destroy a 
lot of your opposition defences here then. Uh, a little bit of showboating there with that roulette. But nonetheless, a great goal by Hernandez. Literally just abusing his abusing his pace that he has. Um, again, then we've got a Rodriguez miss here. How that didn't go in, um, I don't know. Um, but I did pick up the rebound. As I just said, uh, there are an awful lot of rebounds um, that you do get because of the power of the shots that your players are putting onto the goalkeeper. Nice goal there by Nani. Uh, a little nice half volley. Exact same here from Valencia to Hernandez. And uh, Hernandez just absolutely smashes that into the back of the net. Um, there, for example, here then of Hernandez's pace, a lovely assist from whoever that was, Guarin, I believe, literally straight through to Hernandez, just runs through the two centre-backs and obviously just puts it past the keeper. Um, it's good to see Valencia here then, I believe Valencia gets on the score sheet here then, literally just dribbling his way through the two centre-backs and smashing at home, obviously right-footed, bearing it into the right-hand side of the net. Um, but Moutinho, his free kicks, obviously he is right-footed, there is a left-footed player, I can't remember off the top of my head who it is, uh, but Moutinho here then, literally, that is a lovely free kick, just outside of the box with his 87 curve uh, so if he finds if he gets the ball from the right hand side uh, on the left hand side sorry of the penalty area um, to stick him on the end of the free kick and he's almost guaranteed to bury that into the back of the net past the goalkeeper um, Rodriguez here then how this didn't go in you guys can see here I was honestly I saw it flying through the air and I was like wow this is going to be a brilliant long shot but Fairness to the keeper, that was an absolutely brilliant save. Guarin here then, exactly just showing why he's got that 99 shot power. No goalkeeper in Ultimate Team was going to save that. That was an absolute rocky. I'm surprised it didn't tear through the net. Um, but nonetheless, it was a brilliant goal. Rodriguez here then, um, even he can get a nice long shot then. Even, they don't have to go into the top corner long shots. Everyone says long shots have to fly into the top corner. They don't. Uh, they can go at the bottom as well. But nonetheless, this is a great example from him of going into the top corner. Um, the first time he failed, great block, but he picked it up and absolutely smashed it into to the top of the net uh, the second time round. Uh, Valencia then, he even has a decent left foot as well, even though he's right footed, um, even when he gets onto the left foot of his, he can just always also bury it into the back of the net, which is nice, but a nice one-two here with Nani. Uh, again, that 87 pace, I believe, of the top of my head it is, literally just got his way through the two centre-backs and buried it into the back of the net, but here again, um, I don't even know what's happening here. This is Guaran, a lovely bit of skill. I'm not the master of skill, so when I do score a skill goal, I'm going to do my best to include it in a video but this is um, my second to last clip here Nani then lovely nice one too as well with that pace just getting through the two centre backs and just making that run one on of the keeper I don't know what he's doing on the right hand side of the pitch there uh, but look at this to finish off the video a lovely Nani long shot from outside the box top left hand corner of the goal which no keeper was going to save but I hope you enjoyed the squad builder if you did a like would be absolutely greatly appreciated if we could smash 400 that would be absolutely awesome leave your comments in the comment section below about what you thought about this squad or any changes you would make. Obviously, I did want to have inform Theo Walker up front, but he cost way too many coins. I didn't want to make that loss when I went to sell him. But yeah, as I said, please do leave a like and a comment. Until next video, I'll speak to you guys later. Take care.